boy, are you guys going to be disappointed. It's my first time, uh, so please be gentle. I expect to be treated like a lady. Uh, hey, my name's Vaughn Fry. Um, yeah, good luck spelling that. I'm from Derby, Kansas. Yeah, you may have heard of it. It's near here. And as you may have guessed, my life peaked in high school. <laughs> uh, yeah. And because I look like Mel Gibson, Circa the Road Warrior, you may have heard of him or that, uh, people assume I'm some kind of fanatical bigot. And they're right. <laughs> but here in Wichita, I'm something of a prized commodity, the fit male. There's not a lot of guys who are in shape around here. A guy in shape in Wichita is like a unicorn. They exist. Just, no one's ever seen one, and when one does come out from the wild, everyone wants a ride. <laughs> in my case, that's cougars and gays. But not those fine silver fox Anderson Cooper has a verified Twitter account gays. More like Cam from Modern Family. <laughs> Fat, flamboyant, broke. I just can't support that much gay. <laughs> and, uh, anybody like items in the news and or sports? No? Okay, I'm going to do this joke anyways. Adrian Peterson, Viking star running back in the news, pled no contest to beating the snot out of his kid, slap on the wrist, small fine, apologizes, go back to work soon, probably. No contest was invented for people who have a public profile, and they can make billionaires more money. You and I, we don't get to do no, no contests, no. Uh, but Adrian Peterson, yeah, he gets to do it. And really, behind all of this sports stuff, you have ESPN hyping up whoever's playing right now. Before LeBron James, there wasn't basketball, according to ESPN. And on their sports center, they have this segment, Sports Science. This guy, John Burkness is just too excited about every athlete's ability. Before the season started, they had Adrian Peterson on, and they go, oh, Adrian Peterson can jump 40 inches and clear the defenders. I want to see how that's applied in a more real-world situation. Most men are afraid of beating their child, but not NFL superstar Adrian Peterson. When Adrian <laughs> Peterson switches his son, he generates 600 pound-feet of torque, that's the equivalent of throwing your kid behind the rear wheels of a speeding Dodge Viper. <laughs> Finished my first movie. Uh, you say four minute short film, I say movie. Let the disagreement in there. It premiered at the Tallgrass Film Festival. Yeah, a few people back there part of it. And uh, you know, I'm sitting there scoping out the crowd and there's a hot chick. Uh, over there. And if anybody's going to be getting laid from my movie, because I'm the star director, writer, producer, it's going to be me, damn it. <laughs> so, so we have a hot chick there, a, uh, also a unicorn, so that works out for both of us. And uh, my movie starts up, it's in the program, we're playing all the shorts, mine's looking great, sounds fantastic, everything's going well. I'm going to get some of that mythological action star action after the show. I'm looking forward to that. We get to the climactic twist ending. And then Sopranos Black skips to the next movie. Whoever had burned the compilation Blu-ray for the program didn't realize it cut off one of the movies early and it happened to be mine. And I, I was devastated. I go to the front, get on stage with the rest of the local filmmakers for the Q&A. And the unicorn is still present. So I say, hey, if anybody wants to see the end of my short, I can show you on my phone. Just talk to me after the show. That's when she left. <laughs> but you know who did want to see the end of my short? Cam from Modern Family. <laughs> hey, thanks. I'm going to cry.